Hi everyone, it's Don and I hope you're having a fantastic week. Today I just wanted to bring up a quick story that I read recently about some things that have been happening again in the Bahamas. And I hate to bring this up because I go to the Bahamas all the time. But a lawyer has brought out a story about something that has been happening recently more often with regards to cruise ships. So I thought I better share it. So a lot of people think that when you leave from the United States, you're leaving from a, you know, you're on a Royal Caribbean cruise and you're heading to the Bahamas, that if anything happens uh, out on sea or at the ports, that you would be considered, you know, under American law or Canadian law. And that's just simply not the case. You have to go by the law of the port that you stop in whether you're going to Asia or whether you're going to the Bahamas, wherever you are, it's the country's laws that stand. And that even goes on the cruise ships. So one thing that's been starting to happen is that people have been noticing that things that would be considered either not illegal or misdemeanors here in Canada, United States, like say marijuana, uh, here's an example of a person was on their balcony and they were smoking marijuana at sea. Big faux pas. First of all, you're never supposed to do light any object at sea. Also, you're smoking an illegal object at sea. And one of the you know, people in the adjoining balconies, all they smelt was the marijuana smoke in their room in their balcony. So they complained down to the front desk and the security came up and they talked to the person the person said okay i know so it's there's no more i won't do it anymore the next day they did it again uh this time security didn't show up security radioed ahead to the port and informed the local police that somebody was smoking marijuana on the ship so what happened when they pulled in the port the person uh the police came on board before anybody else got off went to that person's cabin, knocked on the door, searched the room. They don't have to have a warrant. It's their right by their law. They don't need a search warrant. They don't need probable cause. They didn't need any of this. They came in, they found marijuana, they charged the person and gave them basically an ultimatum. You either pay the fine or you spend some nights in jail. You don't, didn't have the right to a lawyer. You didn't have an attorney present. This was your choices. So what are you going to do? Are you going to go and you know, you're going to pay a fine, or are you going to, you know, spend some nights in jail? Obviously, you're going to pay a fine. So, and this is starting to happen more and more apparently in some countries, especially in the Caribbean, and a lot of people are starting to think that some of the crew members may be tipping off the police before they get there, and they're getting kickbacks. Nothing has been proven. This is just speculation on some people's parts as one of the reasons why it's on the rise. But the big takeaway from this is that if you think that, no, no, you need a search warrant and you need this and you need, no, no. Whatever the law is of the port that you're at, that's the law that stands. And no matter what, even if you, <laughs> you have a right to an attorney, uh, are you going to pay a, Two hundred, three hundred dollar fine, or you're going to pay six or seven thousand dollars for an attorney to fight a marijuana charge. It doesn't make sense. So obviously, uh, ninety-nine point nine nine times out of a hundred, people are just going to give them the money and, uh, and and just complain about it. But and the cruise line will just go. Sorry, we have no jurisdiction here. It's the local police, and they're right. No matter how much you complain to the cruise line, they have no say in the matter. They can't do anything about it. It's 100% the local police. So, you know, think about that the next time you're in port and you're thinking about doing something, anything that can get you in trouble, uh, whether it seems harmless or not, because you just never know what the authorities in that area are going to think or do. 
I hope you liked this news update. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.